Hello. If you ever need to update your registration information on CMS's registration and attestation system, this webinar is going to briefly show you what you need to do to do that. So if you're not already familiar with it, this is CMS's EHR Incentive Programs webpage. Hopefully you, this is not the first time you're seeing it because it houses a lot of valuable resources about the program and not to mention it's where you go to access the registration and attestation or RNA system. So to get to the RNA system, you'll go to CMS's EHR homepage and you'll click on the registration and attestation hyperlink circled here on the left hand side of the page. which will bring you to this page, uh, the Registration and Attestation page. From here, you're going to click on the hyperlink at the top of the page, circled in red, which will then take you to the RNA Systems landing page. To enter the Registration and Attestation system, click Continue. To access the system, you'll need to have your NPPES username and password, the attesting provider's NPI and social security number, or if, and if the payment's being assigned to a group, be sure to have the payee NPI and last four digits of the EIN. And of course, you'll need a valid EHR certification number because it's not required on CMS's website, but it is a requirement uh, for North Carolina. If you ever need help figuring out how to use CMS's RNA system, there is a very detailed user guide available on their website that is a huge help in knowing where to go and what to do to update any information you may need to update. And you'll need to know how to navigate their system because you will need to go back into the RNA system to update. Uh, information such as your site address, pay information, and EHR certification numbers. So you'll want to be sure to know how to update your information on the RNA system year to year. And if you ever need help using the RNA system and the user guides aren't getting it done, um, you can contact CMS's help desk. They're there to help you use their website. After updating information on CMS's RNA system, it, you'll need to wait um, up to 20, uh, excuse me, after updating information on CMS's RNA system, it may take up to 48 hours to see those updates in NCMEPS. So if you're not seeing it immediately, uh, come back the next day or the day after and you should see those changes in NCMEPS. So there you go, it's pretty straightforward. If you ever have any questions um, and you need a little extra help, send us an email to ncmedicaid.hit at dhhs.nc.gov. Thanks.